Normally, after I make my trailer review for the episode of Grey's Anatomy, I always go grab the promotional pics because once the promo slash trailer is released, the episode stills are released as well. And I love discussing those because they're just really fun to break down and speculate and whatnot. So I went to the, the website that I would grab them from, which is the Grey's Anatomy Wikipedia page. That's a very reliable source for Grey's Anatomy information. And there was no promotional pictures for episode 10 of season 15. And I was like, where are they? So I go look at episode 11 and there's one picture, which you can see on the side. But I was like, why would you not release it? And then I looked at the pr promotional picture for um, episode 11 and it's Meredith in Thatcher's hospice. So then I went back, rewatched the trailer and I went, oh my God, that trailer isn't just episode 10. It's uh, episode 11 and possibly episode 12. More than likely it's all three. And I thought, huh, ABC marketing did me good and did me bad. The bad is the trailer is just badly labeled. And the official label is the help on the live trailer, which is why I labeled it as such and why, you know, ABC labeled it as such. But it's really a season 15 part two trailer. It really doesn't encompass what's going on in at least the beginning of part two. But, uh... I guess, hey, I can't complain about having a trailer with extra information in for other episodes. Like, that gets me more excited. But the one thing that really bothered me is they normally release the information for episode um, 10 as soon as the trailer comes out, as I said, and there's no pics. But we have one to quickly, quickly discuss, and it's Meredith talking to Thatcher, and it's more than likely that she's essentially listening to him and then commenting, maybe telling him something good that's happened in her life recently. Uh, we haven't seen Thatcher in a long time. Thatcher didn't get to react to Lexi dying, so I'm curious if maybe Lexi will be discussed. Uh, Lexi was momentarily discussed in episode six of um, this season, and I always like little me uh, mentions of, Le of uh, Lexi. She's also shown, you know, through uh, uh, digital imaging and whatnot. But I, I really am curious, you know, what will happen with Maggie, uh, Meredith, and Thatcher, and if he knows about Maggie. Speaking of Maggie. Uh, Cyrus, ah, Thatcher, excuse me, I said in my trailer review, I kept calling him Cyrus because he plays Cyrus on Scandal. Uh, he looks so sick, though, and I really do wonder if he's going to die. I think it's kind of a, a bad a bad thing that they kill him so quickly because, you know, Thatcher is a pretty interesting character. He's been on the show for a long, long time in, in, in the recurring capacity that he has. But why kill him off? There's no reason to give Meredith no family at all. Um, you know, no, no parents, I should say. She obviously has a family. She has her sister. She has her children. She has her sister-in-law. But uh, I'm just like, why, why kill Thatcher? Anyway, so we just have that one pick, and I just think Ella Humpeo, she looks compassionate. She looks like she's really absorbing what Cyrus is, um, what Thatcher is saying to her. So I do like that, though I really wish we had more pictures for episode 10 to um, to break down. Um, so the, the next thing I want to quickly talk about is the trailer for episode 10, 11, and possibly 12 had a scene in it that I didn't discuss, and it, it was in the press release, which I did discuss in that video, so I'm going back and I can't believe I blanked on it. I just want to quickly, quickly touch upon it in this video. Uh, Owen gets uh, like injected with something that makes him be paralyzed. He says it in the trailer review and I didn't talk about it and it causes DeLuca to step up in the OR. The reason why I didn't talk about it was first off, there's so many other storylines happening that Owen crashing in the OR is kind of like a B sub storyline. Like if it was the main thing, if he wasn't dealing with Teddy, this would be really important. But, uh, he will more than likely will be fine unless this causes him to go into a coma for several episodes, which I doubt. I highly doubt they're going to get rid of Kevin McKidd or put uh, Kevin McKidd out to pasture for a couple of episodes. That just wouldn't make sense. He's he's very integral to this uh, love triangle, and we need him to be around. We just can't have Amelia and Teddy um, at each other's throats. But I'm wondering like what DeLuca will do and how uh, Owen will react to it. And then also in the trailer, I had mentioned Karasik, but he's back to deal with Catherine. He, him and Catherine have a history, and him and Amelia have a history, and him and Meredith even have a history. And I said I really like Greg German, so I'm really curious to see more of uh, Tom Karasik in this episode, in this uh, little arc that he has going on. He always seems to kind of have uh, mini arcs in the show, and I do appreciate that because I think Greg German has really found his role here of being Tom Karasik. Um, so we have two more episode titles as well, which is episode 11 and episode uh, 12. And the episode title for 11 is The Winner Take Hall, and the description is Amelia and Karasik tackle adopting surgery on Catherine, while Richard and Jackson hope for the best. Meanwhile, Richard urges Meredith to visit her father Thatcher before his time came up. Um, we already discussed the promotional pictures of um, episode 11, which is Meredith talking to Thatcher. But I'm looking forward to seeing that play out. Uh, in the trailer, we see Jackson and Maggie talking. That image could honestly be from episode 11 or episode 10. But I really hope um, to see more of those two 
uh, interact about their parents. I mean, Maggie lost her mom. Now Jackson's mom's in danger of dying. I really hope they don't kill Debbie on. I think that'd be just a disaster for the show. She's just such a good actress, though she does um, appear to want to do more behind-the-scenes work. But point being is, I really just like Debbie Allen quite a bit as Catherine Avery. And then um, the last thing we have is we have episode 12. Episode 13 uh, title hasn't been released yet. And the title for episode 12 is Girlfriend in a Coma. A patient gives Meredith some clarity on her dating situation around the holidays. The strain of Bailey and Ben's marriage comes to head. Meanwhile, Betty drops a bomb on Owen and Amelia. I'm very excited for the Owen and Amelia and Betty storyline because Owen and Amelia, even though I don't ship the couple, it's just, it's fun to watch. I really think that Katarina Scorsoni is such a good actress and Kevin McKidd is great. And I like the character of Owen. And then also, even though it's on the press, it's in the background, we're going to have Teddy somehow dealing with this as well. So I think that's going to be really fun to see. Um, I don't like the fact that Ben and Bailey's marriage is on the rocks and it's about to come to a head, which means it's going to affect things in the workplace. I don't like that at all. Um, they've always had such a, uh, I would say a rock solid marriage. It's always they've been a rock solid couple. Their marriage has been kind of eh, especially when Ben decided to be a fireman and then even go back into residency to be a surgeon. But um, I, I, I'm I don't like the fact that you know Ben's decisions to essentially not be comfortable uh, you know, in in anything and at least in his uh, profession. You know he can't just stay still. It's causing Bailey major stress, which we saw with the episode in season fourteen, which she had the heart attack. So I'm not a huge fan of that storyline, but I'll be interested in seeing it play out. I just feel bad for the character of. Uh, Bailey more than likely I will cry you know or get emotional I, I think Shandra Wilson's just such a good actress and then uh, a patient giving Meredith some clarity on her dating situation well the clarity is you gotta pick you can't uh you can't play the game too long go on a couple dates figure out which one you like which one you connect with more um, you just can't date both of them because they're not there's no way that both of them will want that and it's eventually gonna be pick me the, like you know Link and um Lincoln, uh, Mer uh, Lincoln DeLuca are going to have to give her a pick me, choose me, love me speech. And uh, she'll eventually probably pick DeLuca. My reasoning behind it is I, I, I feel that the show is trying to make Chris Carmack more of a a starring role if the audience is receptive to him. If there, there is a season 16 for sure. So in season 16, it's possible that he could be starring. I just don't see it happening because then you're just going to have a lot of odd drama with DeLuca because then you're essentially kind of repeating the uh, love triangle that Meredith had with Derek and Addison. Um, also, one last thing: Helen Karev, who played Alex, uh, Helen Karev, who's Alex's mother, played by Lindsay Wagner, back in season fourteen, is coming back for this episode. Uh, not for this episode of uh, twelve, but she'll be back in episode in February. So I think it's exciting that we're going to be getting um, Alex's mom back. I thought um, from her introduction, she was pretty interesting, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of Alex and her talking with um, Meredith more than anyone else. Also, one last thing I want to quickly talk about is since the season has been extended to 25 episodes, we are going to be getting a Amelia-centric episode later on towards the end of the season. I think that's awesome because Katarina is such a great actress, as I've said many times. She's very versatile in terms of what she can do, so I'm curious to see like what that episode will entail. But I think it's funny that that was a uh, headline because... You know, with so many episodes, the show was originally 22 episodes and then, you know, went to 25. But within 22 episodes, you have plenty of time for standalone character episodes. So I think it's funny that they're harping on Amelia getting a centric episode towards the end of the season. So I'm really curious what's going to be standing out there. Could Katarina be leaving the show? I think that would be absolutely horrifying if another Shepherd had to leave the show. But I'm excited that we're going to be getting, um, you know, more episodes and more. You know, again, I've said a couple times Amelia is not my favorite character, but I think Katarina is such a great actress that I'm curious to see more of that. So I also want to quickly announce that as well. And uh, last thing I want to talk about is there's been a lot of clickbait for Grey's Anatomy for obvious reasons. I mean, people in this age of clickbait news, it's just what happens. But um, there's a lot of clickbait articles about Sandra Oh possibly returning or um, Sarah Drew possibly returning. Nothing's been confirmed. If you want confirmation, use Deadline, Entertainment Weekly, or the Grey's Anatomy Twitter page. They will confirm when someone is coming back. Like, it, they're just articles trying to get your clicks to get the, the ads. Like, it's just be very... I know that most of you are really cautious about this. We know that most of these actors are probably not coming back as much as we want them to. I mean, Sarah Drew's character is technically still living in Seattle. She could come back. She probably wants to come back. But until the show announces it, it ain't happening. An actor saying, oh, I want a character to come back, is useless unless the showrunners confirm it. Now, Ellen Pompeo is the producer of the show and has a lot of swing. If she said, if she says someone's returning, believe it, just because of Ellen's control of Grey's Anatomy. But if Jesse Williams, who said, "Oh, I want her to come back," don't think that is, oh, there's behind the scenes talks that you know April's coming back. 
just just be very very cautious about about, about the clickbait titles. Just really, if you see something, ver try to verify it on another website, such as Entertainment Weekly, Deadline, and whatnot. And just be pretty cautious with that. So anyway, I do hope we get some promotional pictures for episode ten. I like to break the I would like to break those down. I think that'd be fun. And uh, overall, I'm excited to get three Grey's Anatomy based videos out uh, this week. So anyway, thank you for watching my review of um, or my my update on Grey's Anatomy season fifteen, and I will be discussing episode ten very, very soon. All right, guys. Bye.